Easy. All right. <laughs> we have uh, Maggie uh, Seelig in studio. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Hi there. Uh, Maggie is the realtor of the stars. Everybody's got questions about real estate, buying, yeah. selling. What do we do? Interest rates. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it up? Is it down? We'll get to all that. And I know you did some stuff with Tom and Giselle. But when you walked into the building, okay, you were met by <laughs> Smoking Joe, but he's Joe Joe he from the morning smoking. show. Okay. Yeah, he is smoking. He is smoking. That's what I'm getting to. I'm in love, Joe Joe. I'm in so, love. So Joe Joe walks hilarious. up to me, all right, unbeknownst to you, and he says, uh, hey, uh, he's got the deep voice. It's deep voice, Joe Joe. He said, I uh, just, uh, just met the real estate woman. <laughs> The woman. <laughs> Couple of smoke shows. Yeah. <laughs> I'll and then, take it at nearly yeah. 50. I'll take it, JoJo. I'll take it. And then Maggie walks in the studio and says, I think I got myself a new boyfriend. Yeah. What's, what's going on Sorry, with JoJo? John. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> and uh, well, your assistant is in the other room, too. And her name is Maggie, too? Or the Maggies. Was yeah. that a requirement uh, to work for the firm? So <laughs> Maggie? You know, I fell in love with her. And one of my work colleagues said, um, you know, I love her too, but you realize her name's Maggie, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I like her despite that, but it's, uh, we're having fun. Well, uh, we've got you in here for a couple of reasons or several reasons. Well, I know that your kids go to Milton Academy with yep. Lisa Donovan's kids. That's, that's how we know each other. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's yep. why I showed up this early. The, yep. <laughs> the Academy moms. Uh, <laughs> he <laughs> loves it. saying that. Right? Are you in on those nights out when Lisa says, oh, I'm going out with the Academy women? Of course she was always. Yeah. The moms go out? Okay. Well, we used to. Yeah. Um, so, okay. We'll Jojo, get... did you hear that? I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe JoJo will DJ the next Mom's Night Out. Yes, JoJo. JoJo and I are going to sing a duet. Okay. We're singing today. Well, you go to the greatest bar. Isn't that where you hang out and work most of the time? The greatest? No. Okay. What happened? Did he get fired over there? No. Oh, that was he like made five that up. years ago. Yeah, oh, okay. That was a very long time. Don't talk badly oh, about my boyfriend. Oh, he's timeout market now. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, oh, Time Out Market's cool. Yeah. It is cool. It's in the Fenway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we sell a lot in the Fenway. He's the DJ. Why don't you go get yourself a cup of coffee and whatever? All right, JoJo, this is happening yeah. now. This is uh, happening. Okay, so we'll get to the business in a minute. Okay. Uh, but I happen to know you sold uh, one or two properties that belong to Tom and Giselle. Who are they? Is that true? <laughs> and uh, the question I have for you, Maggie, is... Did you see problems <laughs> in the house? Did you notice something going on between Tom and Giselle? Did you ever see the two of them together? Help us out here. Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Oh, <laughs> see? Oh, God. Oh, is there one of those agreements between real estate agent and, uh, and client? Well, I'll tell you. So, you know, my celebrity clients are kind of like all my clients. So I hold it all in to protect people. But um, but think, you are able to say you sold Tom. Well, and it was in People magazine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's out story. there. I mean, it's yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Multiple properties. So, sold the houses, but you know, can't say much more than that. Yeah. Let me ask you this, okay, Maggie? You see two people talking. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, within the real estate industry, let's say hypothetically, uh, you sell a property for say <laughs> twenty million. What's your cut? So you know. It's an interesting question. The standard rate in the industry is 5%. So 2.5%, 2.5%. Ah, okay. So let's break it down. What's the, without naming He's names. He's doing a fee yeah. analysis. Yeah. Without naming names, what's the, the most expensive property you've ever sold? The most expensive property I've ever sold without naming names Price would tag. be in excess of Forty million dollars. Okay, oh, wow. so Winnie, you want to do the math? Billy, I'm not going to get into yeah. it. Five, Winnie, I seven. won't do Don't it. Don't go there. I won't go there. Wow. I knew it was real estate. I said that to I you years you ago. We got to get into real estate. Well, Maggie is a lawyer, right? You you were a lawyer first. I'm a lawyer. Yep. And lawyer that's... first. Real so, estate second. Here's another question, Mag. Can I call you Mag? <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> well, JoJo called you a smoke show. <laughs> Uh, I prefer that. <laughs> She's going to come back every day. No, no, no. Literally, what time do I have to be here tomorrow? I, I mean, just to see JoJo. Yeah. Just to see JoJo. Uh, and he just got a new haircut, too. He's gorgeous. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Uh, so, listen. How do you become the realtor to the stars, so to speak? How do you get all these high-priced properties? How do you become that person? 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I really think it's just a matter of being really dedicated mm-hmm. to the process, to my clients. Um, I feel really fortunate that I get to work with like super interesting and super smart people. So I get to pick and choose who I work with, which is super fun. Um, but Boston's full of amazing, interesting people. I have a question about high net worth people like celebrities and uh-huh. they have, you know, these 50, 60 million dollar properties. Do they take out a loan? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> celebrities, they're like just a, like us. Like they're just like us. Yeah. There's a jumbo. Um, you know, it, it depends. I would say that most people that are in the celebrity realm or in the sort of uber wealthy luxury realm, they take loans. Mm, they take wow. loans. Yeah. Boy, they're that's just a like lot us. Of just like us, yeah. Well, just recently, and Lisa, you were going to ask this, Mark Wahlberg was yeah. selling a $90 million mansion and then suddenly took it off the market. What I read there? about that. Yeah. I read about that. I actually know uh, his real estate agent on the on the West Coast. Oh, I was sure. going to give him a buzz to find out why yeah. he took it off. But you know what? People put their houses on and off the market for all sorts of reasons. I have, you know, it was reported, I guess, in the New York Post that he took it off because of rates being high. Mm. Oh. I seriously doubt that. I, I don't know that for a fact. So I can talk about Mark Wahlberg like all day. Not yeah. my client. Well, no NDA. Ahead. No what NDA. So Tell us something we don't know. Well, no, no, no. I just think like it's not about the rate. Somebody buying an $87, $90 million yeah. dollar house, it's not about the rate. It's, you know, who, who knows? He moved to Nevada, no? Right. Maybe yeah. they're not really liking it that much in Nevada. Yeah. Maybe he wants to keep his options open and have his house if he wants to come back. Yeah. Who Money knows? doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter, but it does to the rest of us, which leads me to my next question. Right. All right. The business. Is it up? Is it down? Is it good to buy? Good to rent? What What's going on? So I'll tell you, there was a feeding frenzy uh, the last right. couple years, and um, buyers were having a really hard time in the market. Um, you'd go to an open house and there'd be 50 cars, you know, yeah. lined right. up. And there was this sense of, uh, like despair. You know, if I was a buyer, like, oh my God, how am I going to get the house? Uh, you know, the nice thing about Boston is the market's generally always strong. So it's like holding on to gold bars in greater Boston. You're, you're good. And I think now's a real opportunity for buyers because instead of being one of 50 lined up outside, you're going to be one of a handful. So it's a good time to jump in. But are people still paying well above asking? There was a time people were paying hundreds of thousands above asking without an an inspection. Yeah, I think that's dangerous. I think it's so much better to be in normal times. We're back in sort of normal, healthy market. Okay. Normal, healthy market, guys. So be grateful. Rates are a little higher. There's a woman, Gina, in my office who says, marry the house, date the rate. Yeah. I can't express okay, it better. Write, that, write that down. Gina marry Anderson. The <laughs> marry the house. Date the rate. Rates are higher than they've been. Yeah. Right. But they've been historically low, guys. 2%. Okay. Up. Oh, Billy's phone is ringing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's JoJo Keep calling going. me. No, or it could be somebody with a house to sell. <laughs> JoJo. <laughs> yes. Call me. Call us. <laughs> We'd so love to help the you. The rates are above 7% for the first time in what, over 20 years? You know, when my parents bought their house, I think the rate was like 20-something percent. That's a good right? point. Right? I've heard like, that, yeah. yeah. Let's take a historical perspective. So it's like, okay, rates have been like 2 3 4%. That's not normal. That's like not normal. So right now the rates are what, 7 8%? And by the way, call us, MGS Group Real Estate, oh, yeah. if you need... <laughs> Relation, it's a relationship business. Find your house, marry the house, date the rate. We can help you find people I, to get you better rates. Explain Zillow to me. Oh, we're don't get me started. Oh, no, God. I want to talk about because I'm yeah. on all right, it. All right, I need the a radio time. show to talk about Zillow. Wow. Is it Why? good? Or is it yeah. bad? Hire me to talk about Zillow. Yeah. So <laughs> I just read recently the A in Zillow is for accurate. Um, so, <laughs> you know, the problem with Zillow is there's just a lot of misinformation. The Zestimate. Really? The Zestimate. Yeah, I was just off. in the Boston Globe about the Zestimate. It's always, almost always, I shouldn't say always or never, but it's almost always off. Don't go by the Zestimate, guys. I talk more about Zestimates uh, with prospective buyers or sellers than almost any other topic. Yeah. Go to a professional who can give you an analysis of what you're actually dealing with. Sometimes your house is worth well more than this estimate. Sometimes it's worth Ah. less. Talk to a real estate advisor. Are first impressions really important still? 
Always. Should you always showcase the house? What do they call it? Stage the house? Somebody made a mistake recently that I knew. They did not stage it, and they should have. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you always stage the property? So let me tell you, when I came in today and fell in love with JoJo, yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, you know, he made an impression on me, right? Yeah. He has a look. He has a vibe. He has an energy. I would say the same goes for your property. And the same goes for who's showing your property. Have life to the experience. Mm -hmm. Give life. Give energy. Give breathe air into it and yeah first impressions matter of and course declutter That's uh, definitely okay. declutter take, right get an organizer yeah declutter okay it's very zen and you'll feel better things, yep. very quickly is it's it a true. buyer's or a seller's market right now it's a healthy market it's a healthy, it's a healthy market. market i would say it's very balanced so if you're a buyer get in the market and if you're a seller it's healthy it's a balanced market. And uh, one more thing, because I know Lisa wants to ask, oh, who are you wearing? Oh, uh, uh, that <laughs> coat? Okay. <laughs> I have to say oh, that Lisa Donovan God. is one of the most stylish people right. I know. Well, she's the fashionista. No, yeah. she is literally, ab 